Earlier this month at Made by Google, Pixel unveiled their new smartwatch powered by Wear OS 5, and I was able to join the excitement live to see all the announcements. I work with developers around the world as a Wear OS developer relations engineer. So one topic that was especially top of mind for me was what the new device specs, specifically the two size options, would mean for developers. I started by talking to Ryan from the Pixel team to hear about the brand new hardware coming to Wear OS. Today, I'm really excited to say that we're launching our Pixel Watch 3 here at Made by Google. It's our latest smartwatch engineered by Google. It brings the best that we have to offer to the space, including improvements on health, fitness, and productivity. It also has a larger display, as well as keeping our 24 hours of battery life. Pixel Watch 3 is launching with Wear OS 5 and is coming in two sizes. The 41 millimeter is the same size as our Pixel Watch 1 and Pixel Watch 2, however, is 10% larger screen area. The 45 millimeter Pixel Watch 3 has 40% larger screen real estate than a Pixel Watch 2. This is something that developers should definitely take into consideration when developing their apps. With those considerations in mind, I wondered what developers should be doing to provide the best possible experience on the Pixel Watch 3. I chatted with Jamie from the Wear OS product team to get more information on building for Wear OS 5 and larger display sizes. I kicked off by asking him what developers should consider when building for Wear OS 5. So Pixel Watch 3 brings in a stable release of Wear OS 5. It's based on Android 14, and so developers need to think about what that means for their apps. We have detailed documentation on the website that talks about the updated system behaviors. And if you really want to know how your app is going to behave, you should test it with the Wear OS 5 emulator. During Made by Google, they announced larger displays on both the 41 millimeter and the 45 millimeter devices, the latter being 40% larger than the Pixel Watch 2. What should developers be doing so their app looks good on these larger screen sizes? So developers need to think about how their UI scales for different screen sizes and making sure that users are getting the optimal experience. We talked about this at our Building for the Future of Wear OS technical session during this year's I.O. First, you can use Compose for Wear OS, which supports annotations to make sure that your device behaves optimally across different display sizes and font scales. Additionally, version 1.4 of the Jetpack Tiles library allows you to preview your tiles in Android Studio so you can see how they look. And from Proto Layouts version 1.2.0, we've made it easy for you to build scalable tile layouts to respond to different screen sizes. Developers can get started by going to developer.android.com slash wear. You can also find a gallery with design inspiration for building the best Wear OS apps. There couldn't be a better time to get started with the latest tools and APIs from Wear OS. Click the link below to learn more.